Welcome back, everyone. We're live tonight at our rooting party on the patio in Colleen. Uh, we do this every week. In fact, if you've not gotten involved in this, I'm going to tell you how you get a chance to win. We'll be doing this again next Thursday. Right now, we got weather to talk about. we got a front coming in first thing tomorrow morning. It's going to give us a 180-degree change in our weather. I'm telling you, it's going to be much cooler tomorrow. Tonight, skies are continuing to be very cloudy for us. It's a pretty good south breeze blowing across the area, 15 to 20 miles an hour. And our temperatures have been fairly mild. Very nice for February, 76 degrees right now. Winds are though are out of the south at 16 miles an hour with gusts occasionally better than 20 miles an hour. Now, satellite radar shows us in pretty good shape. The cloud cover that we've got is fairly thin, but there is rain and it's out across south central New Mexico, moving into El Paso and, and moving pretty rapidly towards us from out of the west. We think that by morning we could see a couple of sprinkles, but with the winds blowing like they're anticipated to be, we probably won't see much in the way of any precipitation until tomorrow evening when we start seeing some overrunning going on. So watch how the temperatures fall. Beginning at about 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, this front comes cruising through Comanche and Brownwood, Gulf White, pushes its way on down towards I-35, pushes its way on down into the Brazos Valley, and temperatures are going to be falling. We should hit probably 55 in the morning and by middle of the afternoon temperatures are only going to be in the mid to upper 40s across the area as much colder weather starts setting up for us. So here's how it stacks up tonight. We've got some clouds hanging around in very damp conditions, but a cold snap is in the offing for us. Winds tonight out of the south 10 to 15 miles an hour go around to the north and northwest as much as 20, 25 miles an hour tomorrow. Falling temperatures will hit mid 50s in the morning. And then the mercury continues to slip as those winds usher in some much colder air, probably about 47 by tomorrow afternoon. This is the front we anticipate its uh, location to be about noon tomorrow. Much cooler weather back across the Texas Panhandle and Oklahoma. The readings in the 40s. That low settles in just to the north of Houston, and that's pulling in much colder air out of the South Plains and into the Lone Star State. We do see some wraparound moisture working its way in through Louisiana and to East Texas, but like I said, it's probably going to be the weekend before it gets into our area. So here's how we're looking at the seven day forecast. Cloudy skies, very windy tomorrow, and temperatures falling. Rain sets up for us Friday night and Saturday morning, continues Saturday night into Sunday morning, and then we see another system coming. Coming in. This is another um, Arctic front that's going to be coming our way uh, Monday and Tuesday. And as it comes rolling in, we're looking at the possibility of maybe some strong thunderstorm activity. We will keep you uh, advised on those changing weather conditions as we get closer to that event. Our weaker, weekly winner is Sherry Pollitt of Harker Heights. So good to have you with us again. You Thank got a you. great bunch of folks here. Thank you. Everybody brought their appetites. I'm glad to see that. We've made them rethink the buffet thing, I think. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. It was really good. Thank you very much. Uh, how does someone get uh, a party on the patio? Party on the patio is actually pretty easy. Go online to kcentv.com, uh, find the party on the patio page, fill it out, click submit. Simple, easy. That's all you got to do. Get picked. That's get it. Lucky. That's it. <laughs> We, we got nice full bellies here from Rudy's Barbecue. We're looking forward to uh, the breakfast tacos as well. Put that on your menu. Back to you, Doug, in the studio. We'll see you at 10. All right, Andy, thank you very much. Nick has sports coming up next. Stay with us.